Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Inside Guns with your host, me, the Yankee Marshall. I apologize ahead of time today if my voice cuts out any. I'm kind of losing my voice a little bit today. But I wanted to come on here and talk about voter intimidation, you know, firearms and voting. You know, how people are saying, oh, we're being intimidated by people showing up armed at places where you drop off your ballots or where you vote, etc. Well, there's multiple parts of this I want to talk about. First off, I want to talk about people being allowed to carry a gun when they go vote. Uh, on that aspect, I am 100% in support of that because I am a Second Amendment absolutist. I don't believe your Second Amendment right should ever be uh, impeded upon or infringed upon. So, of course, I think every person, when they go to their polling place to vote, should be allowed to carry, open or concealed. I think it should be, you could do whatever you want. Someone shouldn't even think anything of it. Now, if you're being a jackass while you're doing it, well, then treat you like a jackass. But just carrying a gun, open or concealed, I don't know about you guys, but usually the people I know, that's when they're in their, at their best behavior, especially if they're open carrying. So when I see someone open carrying, I'm usually like, hey, this guy's not going to start any trouble. So, of course, I think you should be able to carry into your polling place where you go to vote. And, of course, you should be able to carry when you drop off your votes at a drop box. There should be no rules that, you know, certain distance around a drop box for paper ballots is, you know, gun-free zone. That's ridiculous. That's definitely an infringement, just like not being able to take your gun when you go vote is usually, I would consider it an infringement. Now, usually I would say, even though these are usually on public property, or private property, I should say, they're usually private property, these polling places, I still don't think someone should have the right to ban you from carrying in this private property, even if the government wasn't doing it, because this is something everyone has a right to come do. So for the time that they're doing what they're doing, you have no right to stop them. Uh, and that includes if they're carrying. So even if it was at a school, like if your polling place is at a school, you have to go to a gymnasium to vote, you should be allowed to carry in there because you're being required to come there if you want to exercise your right to vote. So I'm 100% for being able to carry when you go vote, open or concealed, no matter where it is. As far as hanging around afterwards and watching other people vote, I don't really see a need for that. Uh, for one, like I say, it usually is on private property or controlled public property, you know, government property. So if they say everybody who votes then needs to leave, I got no problem with that. You vote, you leave. You don't harass other people while they're voting or you try to intimidate other people while they're voting. Uh, so if you're hanging around, especially if you're like got ARs and, you know, uh, tactical vests and stuff on like you wouldn't normally dress at a polling place with a shirt that says, you better vote for Billy Bob or I'll shoot you. You know, that's a pretty extreme example there. But no, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. It's vote and get the hell out. Now, I know a lot of people, I want to watch, make sure no one's voting illegally. Well, here's the reality. There's two realities here. One even if they were voting illegally, how would you know? You would not know. They go in a little room, they vote. You don't know if they're who they say they are or what. That's up to the polling people to verify that they are who they say they are and that they know where they're registered. They know their name and address, etc. You don't know that. So you wouldn't have any way to tell if they're doing something wrong anyway. And two, voter issues aren't at the voter level. Election issues are not at the voter level. It's not the voters that are committing all this fraud, if there is any. There's no real measurable voter fraud. What there is is election fraud. And that's the people who run the elections and people who are the insiders on the elections. That's when they do things wrong. Stuff in ballot boxes, altering numbers, messing with machines, you know, casting out ballots they don't want to count. That's where the problems occur. So if you want to be somewhere watching, be at the places where they count the vote, where they tally the vote, where they register the vote. That's what needs to be watched, not individual citizens. It's too easy to catch an individual citizen when they do uh, something wrong voting-wise. And usually when someone does get uh, uh, caught and tried and convicted, they didn't even know they were doing something wrong. So that's not where they need to watch. So there's no reason to hang around a polling place and even take the risk of being accused of intimidating people. And even if you are there and you're armed and uh, people are feeling uncomfortable because you're there, just be courteous and leave. What reason do you have to make them uncomfortable? But here's the part I want to talk about the most is 
uh, the ballot box issues and people standing around armed around the ballot boxes. Uh, you know, the drop boxes where you drop off your paper ballots, mail-in ballots, etc. cetera. Uh, those people who are saying they're feeling intimidated, I'm like, how? Even if the people are, like I said, dressed in tactical gear with rifles in a way they would never normally dress for the day, and they're hanging around a box, and they're sitting across the street in lawn chairs, and you're coming up to vote, what's intimidating? They don't know how you're voting. It's not like they can see through your envelope and see what it says. So unless you're like showing up with like a duffel bag full of votes and pouring it in there, no one's even going to call the cops or question anything. If I pulled up to vote and I saw armed people sitting over here uh, watching me vote and I knew they wanted me to vote for candidate A, but I voted for candidate B, I wouldn't, wouldn't feel intimidated. They don't know who I voted for. So just Give them a thumbs up, get in your car and leave. They'll probably wave at you as you go. I don't know why people would feel intimidated. To be to feel intimidated, would you'd have to think that there's going to be some negative consequence of what you're doing and the negative consequence of them being there. And like I said, they don't know who you're voting for. They're just watching for gross irregularities. And they're in a public place. So with that, just vote. Don't worry about it. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. I didn't see any examples of where any of them harassed any people voting. I've seen examples where people voting started yelling at them, but I didn't see them harass anyone else. Now, would I go out and do it? Of course I wouldn't go out and do it. I don't want to go do it. Looks like it's cold out there in a lot of those places. So I'm not going to go do it, but the people doing it, watching, have a right to. They have a right to sit there and make sure nothing super suspicious happens. Something overtly uh, wrong happens. And like I said, why would you ever feel intimidated? Even in a public polling place, you're going behind a curtain and pulling the curtain and voting. The person standing outside who you think is watching you can't see what you're doing. They don't know who you are. They don't know, you know, what would they do? That's the thing. So I'm like... To really feel intimidated, there has to be a chance of like a really negative consequence because of what's happened. You have to reasonably feel, ooh, I'm going to pay a price for something. And in these situations, I don't see where that's actually a risk because like I said, the people watching you don't know who you're voting for. You really don't even know who they want you to vote for. I mean, you can usually assume and if they fly a flag, you know, but why assume? Just Drop your ballot off and go about your way. If you want to be friendly, give them a thumbs up or wave. Say, good job, fellas. And then they'll be like, thank you. And then you'll go on. They don't know that you just voted, uh, voted for Kamala Harris to be empress of the universe or whatever. Because they have no idea. So, like I said, as far as firearms not mixing with voting, like not being able to be carried in places and not being able to be around ballot boxes, I disagree. I think you should be able to carry when you go vote. I think armed people should have every right to sit around in public. and Therefore, they have every right to sit around a ballot box. And as far as whether you should feel intimidated if they don't agree with your politics, well, here's the thing. Don't bring it up right there. All right, everybody, before I go, I want to remind everyone that we are still taking donations for toy guns for tots. So if you want to participate, but you haven't yet, please go over to tympistolproject.com. There's a link in the upper corner of this video. All you got to do is click on it. It'll take you right over there. Once you get there, there's a very clearly marked section on the page that tells you what Toy Guns for Tots is all about and has a little place there you can donate. Now, if you're going to donate, please do, because today was uh, going to be a horrible day. We were only going to have made like 80 bucks today total. Uh, and then one of our regular big donors stepped in, Mr. Cohen, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, and uh, made it a good day overall. But like I said, if it hadn't been for him, this would have been a really crappy day of donation. So if you can at all afford to donate to Toy Guns for Tots, uh, it's my favorite part of the year. Please do so. I want to thank everyone that already has, and I want to thank everyone that will. And with that, I am out of here. I hope you enjoyed the show today, and I hope you come back again tomorrow. Until then, remember, always carry and stay safe until I see you again.
man.